Hi, I'm Penny Green with Synergy One Lending, and we're here today with Christy Levy at the North Door, and we're going to get all political on you. Hi, it's Christy Levy with Levy Properties in Austin. Tonight, I am at the North Door in East Austin, and we're here for an event hosted by the Center for Austin's Future. So this organization has a really cool mission. They identify and prepare future-focused leaders for public service, and they also educate the community about incentives that will absolutely help increase the quality of living here in Austin. So let's go inside and see what's going on. All right, so this is my colleague and seasoned broker associate with Levy Properties, Ashley Amini. Uh, Ashley was a participant last year, which was the first year that this program started. And so I want her to tell us a little bit about what she experienced last year and how she was able to take that experience and use it in her real estate with her clients. Ashley? Thanks, Christine. You're welcome. It was an amazing experience. I was able to learn all about the different departments uh, in the city government and how they interact with each other, which has allowed me to become a more productive member of our community. But this also allowed me to give better service to our clients because I can fill people in that are moving in from out of town, but I can also educate people that already live here and are not really aware yeah. of what's going on with our city and it helps them make better real estate decisions. Absolutely. Thank you, Ashley, we appreciate it. Have a good night. I'd like to uh, introduce you to the former mayor, Lee Leffingwell, and he's gonna give us a little insight on his thoughts about tonight's show. My takeaway is I hope we've started to build a little bit of background on what it takes to actually develop policy in government. And especially when you're talking about complex uh, policy like transportation, developing transportation infrastructure, all of the considerations that have to be addressed from engineering problems and costs sure. to uh, finally the big enchilada is you've got to make it appealing to voters so that you can pass the thing absolutely because uh, you're never going to get anywhere unless voters approve it absolutely. well thank yeah. you so much i appreciate your time you're very welcome all right this is ward tisdale founder and executive director of the center for austin's future so ward tell us why are we here why is this event important this is the culmination of what we call the at accelerator program and it's the second year we've done this we put 24 through this year, 25 last year. We're trying to get people interested in city government, whether they're gonna run for city council, serve on a board of commission, or just be advocates for what we call future-focused policy. Sure. We want people planning for the future and not putting their heads in the sand. And providing a forum for them to do that and get involved. Exactly. Wonderful. You know, there are different training programs for people that are interested in office. We're unique because we make them compete at the end. Yes. Which makes them uh, try better, makes them study harder. It makes it, it more fun. It makes it more fun. Yeah. And, you, and, and these are the games. You yeah. saw what happened tonight. People were interested. They were having fun. But they really brought their A game. Well, it's a blast. You have the former mayor involved. You've got former news anchors and people that are so involved in the community. So it was wonderful. And we had a great time. So thank you. Absolutely. Anytime. Thanks for joining us. If you want to learn more about how to get involved, visit www.centerforaustinfuture.org. See you next time on The American Dream.